I just did what I had to do in order to survive because I knew that one day possibly I could get out of there. Hello, my name is April Baker. I am 32 years old. I was born and raised in Omaha, Nebraska. I grew up in North Omaha. I grew up with just my father in the picture. My mother was not there. Um, unfortunately, at age 15, I decided to leave home due to the fact that there was drug abuse and alcohol abuse and neglect in my family. So I drove to my aunt's house. My cousin was two years younger than me and I snuck in her window and slept in her bed for a couple of days until my aunt discovered me and told me that she couldn't keep me here because my father had reported me as a runaway. And so I left that home, slept in my car for a couple of days, found different parking lots. One month into it, I had met this man. His name was, we'll call him Red. Red became like my boyfriend. And um, he told me, well, I have a place for you to stay. You don't have to live on the streets anymore. Um, you can come here and we have, you know, lots of room. My uncle has a house. So I stayed at this house and I lived there. I never questioned why there were so many girls who lived at the house. Honestly, I think it's because naivety at 15 years old, you don't, you're not exposed to that kind of stuff. You don't know what that is. Like I didn't realize why I was there. And about, I'd say three months later, I woke up one morning and my keys were gone off of the nightstand. And I thought maybe someone had borrowed my car. The owner of the house, he told me basically, you've lived here long enough. You're going to have to start making some real money. I asked Beth, what do you mean about that? What did, exactly did he mean? And she's like, you know, you're gonna do like private parties. And I thought, okay, well, that's not that big of a deal. She goes, no, I mean like, you're gonna have sex for money. And basically he told me like, you're living here now, you have no choice, you're not allowed to leave, you can't go. You're pretty much, I was told I was a prisoner there. Like this is you're gonna be where you're gonna stay and you don't have a choice to leave. I definitely would say that I felt fear. Um, beyond fear though, you've, there was a sense of, or a feeling of disgust. I always kept thinking, I'm never going, no one's ever going to love me again. I'm never going to find someone who's ever going to, um, to accept me because of what I've done. And I thought about it, why didn't I fight harder to leave? Why didn't I, you know, do some of these crazy things that these other girls do, like jump out of cars or jump out of windows? Why didn't I do that? But I just think that at that time, my mind was so, um, full of fear and because I knew what they were capable of possibly, I didn't try as hard. So the day I escaped, I was at a hotel and Bo got a stomach ache and got sick and he needed to use the bathroom. And so he decided to go at the time to the gas station that was right next door to the hotel. My client was always just wanted to talk. He was just a talker. I was crying because I knew that I could probably leave if I wanted to, and I didn't know what to do. So I said to him, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna run, I have to go now. And he gave me $200 cash and he said, go, don't come back. I picked up the phone and I called my brother and I said, I'm alive. I said, meet me at the South Roads Mall. Meet me at the South Roads Mall. And I hung up the phone and I kicked that window and I ran across that road with nothing but a t-shirt and no shoes and I ran to that mall and I waited for my brother to come and he picked me up and I just remember thinking, oh my God, I am free, free, free. God preserved me. Even through all of that I went through. The word relentless is something that means so much to me because God was, was and always has been relentless in seeking after me. Even in the midst of all that I was doing and where I was at, he still, when I look back and look at those little times and even in my, and even in my escape, the way I got out was nothing short of a miracle. 
God is able to do anything. If he could set me free from that, he could set anyone free from anything else. So no matter what, despite your circumstances, no matter what you're going through, no matter where you're at in your journey, if you're fearful, whatever, just know that there is hope, that God is near you, he's just a prayer away, and just to hold on tight, hold on to your faith, hold on to God, and that he will, he will bring you through.